Yo, what's good? Today, I'm about to show you guys how to make a GUI where like, when your mouse hovers over it, it enlarges, gets bigger. And then when your mouse exits the GUI, it gets smaller, I guess you could say. Basically, it'll return to its original size. This video was requested to me by AP Plays. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, So you would head on over to Starter GUI. You would insert a screen GUI. For the sake of the video, I'm just gonna name it test GUI, but like, I'm just naming everything test, but you guys can name it whatever you want. So test GUI, then a button. So of course rename I'm gonna rename the button to test button as well. Then insert a local script into the button, and then of course name it test script. As always, we're gonna get the local player first, so let's make a variable local local and player goes game dot players dot local player. Then for this, we're going to make two functions, an enlarge function and a shrink function. So first up, we'll do enlarge. So we'll do function enlarge, close parentheses, then here. Then we're going to do player dot player GUI dot test GUI dot test, oh, test button dot size is equal to UDM2. This is, this is similar to how vectors work, like when I do vector3. And stuff but it's different so we're gonna do I just call it udim because that's pretty much what it is but yeah udim2 dot new and then you guys can literally like just um copy over what you have here well actually it's kind of different I'm gonna show you guys in a second you just need more commas like you can take out the little special um I, just, I call them special but I guess we guys call it whatever you want but here and then literally just separate them by commas how it pretty much is now literally just like that they like just make sure all four are separated that's what I mean that's the difference between vectors yeah just separate it like that so this is its original size right since we want it to enlarge itself we want it to be basically double this size so simple math we're gonna do my bad 400 and then 100 changes to whatever like however like bigger you want it to be and stuff it all depends on what your original size is the default size whenever you create a text button of course is 250 so we're going to double it by 400 and 100 of course then we'll connect this by script dot parent dot and then for here you guys are going to do mouse enter this basically is whenever the player puts their like they move their mouse into the GUI enter connect enlarge and then there's your first function then the second function we call this shrink then we're gonna literally just do actually you can literally just copy it over you could it would just save a lot of time just copy it and then you would just set it back to what it originally was so 250 and then once again connected but different instead of mouse enter you would do mouse leave because that's when the player moves their mouse outside of the GUI so I saw mouse wrong mouse leave connect shrink and there you go all right, so uh, I'll move the button right here. Um, there's no real need for me to customize it, so I'll just go ahead and play test and show you guys how it is. Yeah, we've pretty much finished. Not even pretty much, we literally have finished. Look, so when I hover over it, it's bigger. If I leave the GUI, as you guys can see, it returns back to its original size. So yeah, there you go. Um, once again, AP Plays requests this video. I hope this answered your question and showed you how you wanted to do it and stuff. And yeah. If, as always, if you guys need help or anything, just um, leave a comment down below. I will respond and try to help you as best as possible. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, um, I do take suggestions. If you guys like, literally, if you want me to make a video, if you want me to make a video explaining how to do something, yeah, just ask me. And if I'm able to, then yeah, I'll just say, you guys, yeah, I can do it. So yeah, if you have any suggestions or videos that you want to see, like. Whether it be how do you animate this, mainly ask scripted questions, but I can answer other questions and stuff relating to it. But yeah, they'll just ask questions and then I'll respond and then you'll know if I can either help you or if I'll redirect you to somewhere where you can get help. But I will still try to help regardless. But yeah, though, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if this video was helpful. Um, as always, leave a comment if you need help. I will leave the scripts in the description for anyone who just wants to copy it or double check if they... Type it correctly if you please. Like I said, I hope this video is able to help you. And yeah, I'll see you guys.